Welcome to our tiny little presentation. My name is Irving Corrales. I'm with uh, Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm April Schofield from Metropolitan State University of Denver. And Mike Whitman from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And unfortunately, our friend Andrew Loring cannot be here at the moment because he is in the plane already, uh, flying back to Texas somewhere. All right, so we had a lot of uh, interaction yesterday, and we tried to have uh, something that was really common in advanced sales classes. And so we talk about a lot of number of issues and how do you approach uh, advanced sales classes. And uh, we came up with a lot of ideas. And one of the ideas was uh, what I'm doing right now, which is uh, something related to created auction and uh, the students getting the leads, uh, getting the auction items, and then do a sales um, auction at the end of the semester with the banquet and everything. So that didn't fly. And so Andrew, of all the people, he's not here right now, he said, um, why have a problem with the students that are not pushing pain? And I love that. When he said that pushing pain, I said, wow, big bingo. <laughs> We need to learn as a student how to push pain and use that pain to create a vision that our solution is the one that is going to solve the problem. And so how can we do that in class? And so some of the ideas, we put it together. And at the end, we decided, let's do this one. And we were trying to get you guys involved because we want you to participate in this thing. And the idea that Mike is going to present is related to this. Our cell phones. Ever you want to go ahead? And so, so for us, our idea was to have a classroom discussion um, with our students. Um, how can we really push pain when we are on a sales call? Um, so often, I think we talked about this a little bit um, over the course of the last couple days, is you see students and they'll ask their questions and then they'll say, great, and go on to this presentation. Um, but they really struggle with kind of emphasizing that pain, really bringing out those pain points. And so we thought, let's translate this into something that our students really understand. And the biggest way that we can help students understand pain um, is to have them imagine their life without their phone for one week. Um, and so um, this is kind of our idea um, that we thought we would we would walk through with our students that we to actually do with you all today. And we actually thought that let's take it a step further. It's not just no phone. It's no Wi-Fi. It's no internet. And uh, the question, and we worked backwards from from the tool, the device that they have to, to get to this point. So what? Our first question is, is what I'd like for you to do is just with the people close to you is think about if you had no phone, no Wi-Fi, no internet, and, and let's put it in the student's perspective, how would that affect their life? What, what broad areas would that touch? And so we're going to give you, say, two minutes to just brainstorm different areas of their life where that would affect. Go. All right, five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, what are some areas? What do y'all have? Do uh, you want them all or just one? Uh, let's start with one and we'll go from there. Okay, so um, one of the ones that we thought of is connecting with my family, so I'm away from home, so I really don't have a way to connect with okay, them. Okay, so, so communication. Communication, Let's right. keep it big. What's another big one? Maybe security. Security? Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Okay. That is a great one. Schedule. Schedule. Okay, but think think bigger. So so what what would be a I mean, they don't, they don't time management? Time, time yeah. management. Time. Or they don't have access to their calendar, which is on their right. phone. They can still have a watch. That's okay. Convenience. Convenience. Uh, Convenience for what? Because that, uh, that cuts across. That's that's even that's even higher level. So let's break it down. Convenience for what type of activities? Connectivity, uh, uh, affiliation. Affiliate, so social. 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 Money. Money. Mm -hmm. Their bank account. Very important. Okay. Now you can still go to the bank. 
right? But what, what else? Any, are there, did you have any others? Well, we think leisure activities such as shopping, right? Shopping online. Okay. Health. Health. So Stress levels go up. Fear of missing out. <laughs> let's focus on, and let's, let's think about what students are really going to be interested in. So let's think about communication. I'm shocked that nobody said schoolwork. Well, we have, we have that. <laughs> okay. So, so let's, let's focus on social time management instead of security. Let's do and social time management. All right. So for these four buckets, what I would like for you to do is that's, that's just a sign. So who wants who wants to handle who wants to focus on schoolwork? Can I have two people focus on school? Okay, so so you want to join go join them? Okay. Um, and then what do y'all want to focus on of these? Social. Social and. We have left. Uh, communication. Communication. Sorry. Communication. Okay, so so let's drill down and think about how would their life be different in these areas without phone. Now you can still they can still use a landline. Right. If they can still use a payphone. They can still write letters. They can still write papers. They just can't submit it electronically. So let's let's go through and talk about how does this affect what they would do. Okay, and I'm going to give you three. Still drive, but yeah. So you have you have three minutes for this. Three minutes, go. Yeah, we don't have a lot of minutes. Okay, if you if you have yours, come on up and write them up, please. You want me to write it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you have ready, calm down. Calm down. This is the price of white thingy. And the rest. Yeah, yeah, that's that's next up. <laughs> So our approach was to look at the positives of the lack of communication and the negatives. That's fine. Do you want us to separate Yeah, that? no, put up, just throw it up there, whatever you have, throw it up. We're going to do the positives so, first. So I'm going to go ahead and start walking through. Thank you. Um, if, you if you look at, at, so our next step, our next thought would be, what, what are the costs associated with this? Relative to the way they're doing things now, how, how can we take this and talk about what does this take into that next step of implication? So you've said that you're restricted to landline, fax machine, walk, walking on foot, car, bike, uh, and the, uh, what's the board they ride on? Skateboards. Oh, skateboards. And so, what does this mean in terms of cost? What cost would be associated with being restricted to this versus their phones? What kind of cost? You mean financial cost? Anything. What What would be a cost? Uh, lack of productivity. Okay, so. So when their social shuts down, they they melt down. Okay. But fewer people in their network or in their in their support sphere. system. Okay, so so one is that they can only man they can manage fewer relationships, right? Effectively. Uh, what else does it cost them? Productivity. Okay. So time, so instead of just being able to text right. in 10 seconds, so now they have to I make more of an effort? For school productivity as well. Sure. But we're, talking about the, but we're, we're talking about the social. So if they want to arrange to go to lunch, how many calls do they have to make? How many people do they have to go pick up? How many, so it's, it's time, it's money, it's gas, it's hassle, frustration. You know, you mentioned they melt down. That, that certainly is an issue. They'll have to be better planners, less spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Okay, they'll have to be better planners. For schoolwork, paper-based, from a submission standpoint, it creates issues. Attendance, they can't just download the notes. What does this, and, and I think some of us argue, these are good things for them to have to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
But what well, we are also the? Said it was, it was a big cost to us as faculty. As well. Okay, so from our standpoint, yeah. it certainly could be we a like cost. Communicating with students at seventy at a time. You know, we, these are not. We like that we don't have to listen to and slow down our lectures so they can take notes at glacial speed. And, and but when you give them, let's let's focus on just one area. You give them an assignment, and they have to look up. They have to find answers. Where do they go? Where do they have to go and now? This is another challenge because at Purdue, anyway, our library is online. Mm -hmm. Okay. They get most of the books out of the library now. But now, could they go to the library and access databases in the yes, library? The Wi-Fi was out. Yeah, but can they go to the? There's, there's no physical space they could go to. Oh yeah, there's there's physically libraries. Do they know where it is? Yes. yes. Yeah. Is it is a Starbucks located in the library? Because <laughs> that's the only no. way my students would know. No, but next door. <laughs> okay, so so you have to go to a group work. You mentioned could be could be an issue. So the point the point is, and, and I think when you start looking at at communication. Could they even find a payphone? Do they even have a landline? Do they even, what would it take? Now they have to set one up. Well, they wouldn't necessarily have to do it, right? So we would have to make the, those landline phones now available on campus, correct? But right? you're talking about our students on yeah. campus. Right? Yeah. So we were looking at it more from there are some very, I mean, obviously there are negatives to it, right? But we were trying to also focus on, and what I didn't put up there is stronger interpersonal relationships. Mm -hmm. like, being in the now with the people that you're with right now. So you would, your communication would change. You would now communicate more with people around you rather than, you know, virtually, right? And, and, and I think one of the things that that would bring out is your ability to talk about how, if you're going to say, okay, well now let me sh talk about a solution to these things. Mm -hmm. And you could frame it in terms of not the negatives that we see, but here is how you can use this in a positive way and, and have that balance where you're not always walking around like this and tripping over the curbs. Mm -hmm. This is how you can properly use a tool. So you take something away and then you give it back in a way that is very helpful, that allows them to be more productive, that allows them to, to use it in a constructive manner, but still maintain the positives that you mentioned here. So the end of the story is that uh, the solution is this one. So you push the pain all over, but at the, at the end of the day, they need to learn how to tie the solution to the pain so they can close the deal. Sometimes they don't know how, to, they find all this information, but they don't know what to do with the information. And that's what we're trying to do in advanced sales classes, you know, to them to understand that pushing the pain is the important thing for them to learn and to apply it. And like uh, one of the presenters said, uh, it's not like uh, your day was awful and you say, oh, that's good. No. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more. Please tell me more. What happened? And Have you thought about a solution? For our students, I think putting it, translating it into these terms, uh, we know that these implication conversations are what really sell, what really connects mm -hmm. the dots. If you talk to a student, if they walk into a Verizon store, you've got a lot of different phone options, right? You've got the $50 flip phone right at front, and you've got the $600 iPhone in the back of the store. Where do all of our students go? To the, the iPhone. iPhone. They don't bat an eye. And so if you've got a customer who says, gee, I don't understand the difference between your product versus your competitor's product when yours is priced so much higher, you pushed the pain. You communicated why this one is so valuable because now it's replacing your alarm clock and you know maps and communication and submitting assignments on all of these different things. Because after you push that pain, they recognize you've communicated that value. And so I think putting it into, translating it into terms that they understand, okay, well now it makes sense. But, but also helping them to see a process of how can you take a solution and work backwards and identify areas, buckets where customers have pain and then the issues underneath it, uh, and then being able to tie it to the cost or, or more importantly to the value that you bring to the table. And so, so that's, that's, I think, about I our think, time. Yeah, yeah, that's our time. But I, it's really going to be very useful for the uh, ICSC competition, the, uh, the group competition. If they learn how to do this during the presentation, they can gather all the information at the same time they're pushing the pain. And that the solution, I don't know the sponsor this year, NetSuite? No. No. Citrix. Citrix. Yeah. But when we had Net, 
Netflix, our students perform better in the, comp the group competition than in individual competition because they knew how to do these things. Thank and you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.